So question one then. The first question in the 2018 SQA Advanced Higher Mathematics of Mechanics. Time distance speed question for five marks. Constant acceleration. So you could use your Stuva equations here. Another thing you can do, because it's asking here for a total distance and it gives three stages to a journey, you could draw a speed time diagram because the area under the speed time diagram would be the total distance. Sometimes it's handy, sometimes there's not really any advantage. I'll draw it anyway here. So there's the diagram. Well, you don't actually need it, but it describes the journey, I suppose, if nothing else here. A boat accelerates steadily from a speed of 10 metres per second to 14 metres per second. And it says over a distance, and it's the distance that you want in the end, but it'd be handy to use that diagram if I just had these times. Then it'd have the dimensions of those three shapes. Still, I know the area here then is going to be 1,200 metres, 1 1.2 kilometres. It continues to accelerate. It said it was a steady acceleration, so it's a straight line at the same rate for a further two minutes. So I know that time interval, that's two minutes. So that's 120 seconds to reach some maximum speed. It then decelerates at the same rate. So that's the same gradient, only negative, until it comes to rest. And the question is, what's the total distance? Well, I'm not going to use this diagram actually. It's just a picture of what's happening because ideally I'd want to know these times and the speeds at the vertices and then just work out the areas of the three parts and add them up. Or maybe even just double it up because that triangle is obviously the same as this triangle, minus this part. Anyway, if I'm just going to be working out velocities, then I'll need that acceleration. So, acceleration. I've got speeds, I've got a distance, so that will be v squared is u squared plus 2as. You could rearrange that to read 2as equals v squared minus u squared, so divided by 2s. Put in the figures. 14 squared minus 10 squared over 2 times 1,200. Now that would be a bad little fraction because what have you got? 196 minus 100 is 96 over 2 times that. So that's going to be half of 96 is 48 and 12 into 48. It's all going to cancel out nicely. But as well just changing to decimals because if I last them, may well not be a nice little number. So pop it into a calculator and you get 0 0.04 metres per second squared. Now, doing that is the first mark. That means you can now work out this velocity here, this maximum velocity, which we'll just call V. And I've got an initial velocity, I've got an acceleration, I've got a time, so that will just be V equals U plus AT. Starts at 14, accelerates at 0 0.04 metres per second squared for 120 seconds. Again, I'll just pop it in the calculator. And that comes out as 18.8 .8 metres per second. Doing that gets the second mark. Now you've got all the information you need to find the remaining two distances. Distance 1 and distance 2. Now distance 1. What have we got for this? We've got both speeds, we've got the acceleration, we've got the time, we've got just about everything we need. So we can just use S equals UT plus a half AT squared. So initial speed was 14, the time was 120, the acceleration was 0 0.04, the time was again 120 seconds. Pop it in your calculator and you get 1968 metres. That's the mark. We'll call it S1. Now for S2, what do we know there? We know the initial velocity, we know the final velocity, we know the acceleration. So we could use this one again on the rearrange to read it. I'll just write it down. V equals, oops, V squared equals U squared plus 2AS rearranging to S, which I'll now call S2, V squared minus U squared over 2A. V squared, zero, came to rest. Maximum speed, we had it here, 18.8 .8 squared over two times, it's decelerating. So it's two times negative 0 0.04. Pop it in your calculator and you get 
4418 meters. That's another mark. Almost there for the first five marks. So what was the total distance? Total distance was made up of the 1200 from the first part, the 1968 from the second part, and the 4418 for the third part. Pop in your calculator and you get 7586 meters for the final mark. Or if you like, 7.586 kilometers for the final mark.